Hey everybody, Richie here. Now, this weekend I was planning to put together a couple of segments on the new Microsoft Office for iPad, and I will get there, but as I fired up my iPad and visited the App Store, I noticed an intriguing game called Monument Valley. Now, I had heard of this a little while back, uh, but not really being a gamer, uh, it completely left my mind. But I am a fan of puzzle games, and I really like optical illusions. And this looked like a pretty cool game to try out, so I plonked down my five Aussie dollars and thought I'd try out a couple of levels before I got productive. And uh, you know where this story is headed, right? Monument Valley is as much an architectural design masterpiece as it is a completely consuming puzzle experience. It's a calm, meditative game that gives you control of a little character called Ida. And the purpose is really quite simple. Navigate Ida on these three-dimensional platforms that use the mind-bending optical illusions of the never-ending staircase or the triangle that seems to have an impossible physicality. You can manipulate certain specific components to create bridges or simply twist the whole puzzle piece as a whole. Uh, there are crows that block your path on some levels and you have to use your wits to get around them or even block them from obstructing your journey. Now, you know what? I've just told you about the game, but like any good form of art, you have to experience it for yourself. Uh, there's no urgency or time limits. There's no death or violence. There's just these amazingly designed environments that offer a graphically beautiful, almost tactile space. It seems to be made of four-dimensional Lego pieces. And in fact, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if someone wasn't currently trying to replicate these levels with real Lego pieces. Now, this game unlike many games I've tried in the past, isn't a port or a reinterpretation of a previous title. It's been built from the ground up to be a native touchscreen experience. And I've got to say, after completing all 10 levels, I'm actually looking forward to going back and looking at each level in more detail to see how they built such a brain-twisting and enjoyable immersive journey. Now, the bad news. The title is for the iPad exclusively right now, but apparently an Android version will be coming soon. When it does, do yourself a favour and grab Monument Valley. If you have any interest at all in games that stretch the mind or that get you thinking literally outside the square, then it's worth your while. Uh, what about you? What games do you play when you need a moment's distraction? Let us know in the commentary below. I'd appreciate the old thumbs up and subscribe if you like the segment. Until next time.